what, what is he calling this? Mario Odyssey 64. So I should first point out that this is this is made by Kay Zemanuar. And uh, Kay Zemanuar made uh, all kinds of ROM hacks that I've, I've played. And, he, and that includes the fidget one from a couple weeks ago. This one, like right after E3, Homeboy shot this out. It's me, Mario. Hello. And uh, it's pretty amazing, but I should note, one, I did not make this. Two, I still plan on promoting and streaming Mario 6, Mario Odyssey. Sorry, Super Mario Odyssey when it comes out. I'm looking forward to it. You heard me, Nintendo lawyers. This is not a replacement for Super Mario Odyssey. This is fans expressing their love for your creations. <clears throat> Need a dick. All right, so why don't we get started? <laughs> Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. May row six. I've been waiting for Mario 65 for a long time, and I can say, but Mario Odyssey actually looks like Mario 65. That's the first time I've seen a Mario game that I'm like, okay, that that looks like a sequel to Mario 64 to some extent. Uh-oh. You don't need to see that. Get that out of the way. <laughs> I actually plan on doing a full, real Mario 64 stream at some point um, before Mario Odyssey comes out like a virtual console version and that way I can just play it as God intended God being Miyamoto in this case uh, also Mario Sunshine I love very very much but Mario Sunshine didn't feel like a sequel to Mario 64 except for like you know Mario and gameplay um, in terms of like going through like various wacky worlds Odyssey feels more like a sequel to 64. Sunshine was like, here's an island. All of the levels are island-themed. But I love Sunshine, and that's probably in my top three Mario games of all time. So, what can you do differently in this? You'll notice it looks very similar. However, you can throw your hat. Now, it doesn't have the same functionality as, um... Actual Mario Odyssey, I should point out. Like, you can't... Oh, you can actually jump on the hat, what do you know? Okay, some manuar is quick. So, in Mario Odyssey, <laughs> you have the ability to become a dinosaur and various other things. So, in Mario 64 Odyssey, you can become, well, I guess butterflies. Can I become a sign? No. I guess not. I'm actually surprised there's people in chat who haven't seen this yet. This got really popular over the ca past couple of days. So, in the video, I saw Kay's Emanuar get to the top of the castle using burbs. Hmm. That's well, not working out. I'm wondering if I can actually try to do that. Get up there, find Luigi. Recruit Yoshi to my team. You know, continue to be miserable because Yoshi is not a playable character, neither is Luigi. Okay, well, the burbs are gone. Someone emailed me saying, Vinny, are the words bab, burb, and pinyap New York words? No, that's just me and Mike being complete fucking moron words. Um, the butterflies are not really that great. I tried to use them when I was testing this out before. They, they take a long-ass fucking time to get up there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah! Yeah, oh, no! Oh, good. I did it! <laughs> it worked. Well, Yoshi's not up here. 
Not yet, at least. But yeah, I'm actually looking forward to my, my full, legit Mario 64 playthrough. I don't think it's going to be a 120 star run, but um, it's been a long time since I played through this game fully without, you know, cheap hats. Or spinners that can helicopter me to the top of the roof. Oh, hey, Toad. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, Toad does not go anywhere, so you, you kind of can't control him in that in that manner. All right. Yeah, I can't become the Toad. Will I play the DS version? I don't think I really want to, um, unless there's some kind of like improved analog control version of it. Wow. Look how useful I am. So I think certain things, like NPCs that don't actually move anywhere, you, you cannot become. Or, or you can become them, but you can't move as them. So like here, we're gonna be a Goomber. Yeah, I can control the Goomber. Kinda. K kinda. I... I think. I think I'm controlling the Goomber. If- okay, let's put it this way. If I'm controlling this thing... It's in, like, spirit only. Because I, I did not have any direct control over the Goomba's motion. How about you? Okay, now I, I can control the bob much more accurately. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. So there's actually some level of proficiency to this mod. I mean, to this <laughs> totally normal version. I also discovered something very horrifying that I'm going to let you in on. A, li a little secret. So notice how many balls there are in this pit. Two, right? Okay. Okay, so, I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. Let me, ch let me be the chain chomp real quick. Yep. Mental. Can't really do a whole lot. <laughs> but you can be the chain chomp. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Now, I would assume Mario Odyssey has at least... 20% more interactivity with both your enemies and the environment once you become your enemies. But for a mod that was knocked off in like a couple of days, this is pretty fucking impressive, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really, uh, kind of, kind of blown away by this. Then again, Kay's Emanuar is... Oh, I can't go up there like that. It is amazing. Alright, so remember, there are two balls in the pit. Step right up and take a shit. Couple of hours? He did this in a couple of hours? Dear God. So, between corruptions... The fucking Spinner 64 and this. I wonder how many times in the past year I've defeated this boss. This is Vine Sauce's officially most defeated boss of 20. Of 20. Anything 20 and beyond. You notice Mayro's polygons are looking a little, uh, little crispy over here. And now I am the bomb. For what reason? 
No idea. <laughs> I have no idea. But you can become bum. <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh shit. Oh god! That was amazing! I killed the king... As M Mario. Well, like, the king became Mario, so what, what am I, just dead now? No, I'm alright. I'm alright. Boing. Here we go. So Big Babam is dead. Um someone in chat says, you notice how King Babam do never does anything bomb like? Yes. It's kind of weird, isn't it? So let's talk to one of these lads. Okay, look at this. Now, this was going around. Some people sent this to me the other day on Twitter, so... The Big Babam is nothing but a big dud now. Keep that in mind. So, the king is now a dud. Alright? Remember that pit? <laughs> I guess I'm Koopa the Quick. <laughs> oh shit! Wait a minute. Uh, what's the point of this? I can't control him. Alright, so never mind that. Oh, this is- no. This is bad. Oh god, no! Oh god. No, Mario, please. Please, no! Oh god! Oh god, hat, please! Looks like Koopa the Slow, right? Right? Let's steal that from, uh, Electrical Beast. So, how many- how many balls were in here last time? Two. Now there's three. The king is now a dud. Henceforth, the king is one of those balls. Yep. Destined to live his life. As a ball. Back and forth. Back and forth. Powers taken away. Deepest lore. And again, I did not discover that. That was just floating around the internet. As these things tend to do. Just floating around up there on the internet. Also, you see that? Like, like, with the resolution like this, you can see... Mario's like, look at his play- look at the model! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I never noticed that when I was playing this on the N64, but when you zoom away from Mario, he becomes like a less polygonal version. I guess to... You know, keep the frame rates high. That is an amazing version of Mario, isn't it? Let me let me see if I can get a closer look. Alright, so there's Mayro still. There's Mayro <laughs> Mayro Walk! <laughs> no, that's Mayro. Yeah, this is a lot of games do this. This is a very common trick to preserve frame rates. But, uh, I just never noticed it before in this game, and I love that Mario model. That's, like, worse than Mario Party. Hi, hey, it's -a me, Mario! I'm not quite out of myself yet! Oi! Oi, how you doing? It's -a me, -a Mario! I'm, uh, I'm a little broken on the inside, uh... I am now the flagpole. Again. There- there is no functionality to this flagpole whatsoever. And now I'm Cooper the Quick again. Here we go. Yeah, you don't really get a whole lot of options... ...with some of these characters. You, you just kind of become them. And then... Yeah. That's about it. Someone in chat just said, Cappy got spit-roasted. What's worse, the fact that you said that, or the fact that I know what that means?
You can cap a star? Okay, I have to take a look at that. Trees, though, however, uncappable. Um, oh fuck, I'm butterflies. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. No, they're gonna knock me off the level. Alright, you know what? On second thought, never mind the piranha plant. Does anyone else find it a little weird that piranha plants in Mario 64 kind of look a little different than their usual selves? And then Nintendo never went back to that style. Diseased plant. What's next? Piranha plants and nothing goombas! Swamps unpossessable. Confirmed. Yeah, thwomps too. The fuck kind of thwomps are these? Moon rock thwomps. There's another <laughs> fairly use useless transformation. Oh, you can collect coins with the cap, but you can't actually become the coin. After Mario Odyssey, I'm not sure what direction they can go in next. So they're, they're just gonna have to- Nintendo's just gonna have to make a game where you can become coins. Even though they- oh god. They already did have a Mario game where coins were the central focus. Wasn't that, uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2? And then there was Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Yeah, after Galaxy, it didn't seem like there was a whole lot more fuel left. For the Mario main series. And then Mario World, Mario 3D World was, was just kind of okay. I actually like Mario 3D Land better than World. I think World was was pretty good, but lacked a little bit of uh, the ingenuity, some of the heart. It's still a great game, though. I was expecting Super Mario Universe. Basically, that everything game I played on stream not too long ago. I was expecting that, just with Mario, where, where you can become. Everything. So I'm gonna try this again. Nope, not quite. Nope, not really. Oh look, it's the return of... <laughs> what should we call this version of Mario? Morrow. Like he's just missing a little bit. So maybe he's Morrow. He's coming for it. Or Squ Squario? Squario? Morbo. I like Morrow. Here we go. Some of the models in Mario Party were really, really ugly looking. Like, uh, the original three Mario Parties. I'm not sure if they improved the character models between one and three. But I remember those characters looking particularly gaunt and, uh, <laughs> kind of shitty. I want to become Toad and then it becomes Super Toad 64 again. Do not, do not crash. 
do not crash. I'm not really sure if there's anything in particular that I want to see. Um, does anyone remember what, how many stars it takes to get to the first Bowser fight? Eight. I think that's an attainable goal. Alright, let me tell you what I want to be. I want to be a clam, I want to be the eel, and I want to be Bowser. Alright, so here's my chance at becoming a clam. I want to become the clam from the Star Wars stream last week. What the fuck? Again, absolutely no point. Yep, I'm a fish now. I'll just let this fish take me wherever it wishes, uh, which is apparently clipping through a wall. I, am I now Bubbles? I don't understand what- oh! This is supremely fucked. Alright, as you know, <laughs> the fish eye is worth at least 15 points. Oh, I can't cap the eel. Depressed Kermit. That was my attempt at Dustin Diamond, but uh, I guess <laughs> I understand where you're coming from. Uh, I tried to become a bubble, but that seems to happen automatically after becoming a fish. To me, this is this is the real downfall of the Mario series, though Mario 64, because this is when we start moving away from "Hey, how you doing? It's me, Mario. I like a little bit of spaghetti." Huh? You know, I gotta live in Brooklyn! Hey! Like, we lost that Mario when we got that law! I mean, I'm sure there's some uses for Cappy. Alright, yeah. Oh boy. Alright, time to get some coins. The piano? I wouldn't mind attempting to become the piano. Did you know if you fall asleep in this game? for... Uh... Like a minute and a half, two minutes. Mario starts talking in his sleep. He's like, a ravioli, a spaghetti. So he does have interest in spaghetti still. Here we go. You can become the eel at a later level. Alright. Well, we're halfway to Bowser. Try that again, though. Let's see if I can actually become. If I can actually become the eel, I have to lure the eel out of its cave with some, I guess, ravioli. Ravioli. Let's see. Hang on a second. Uh, Norix, what, what did you... What did you do? 
Norix, where did you send me this DM? Norix has information. Well, what the hell happened to Cappy? Well, what is going on with the hat here? Oh, on Twitch. I don't really check those, because they get, like, kind of weirdly spammed. Oh, I'm good, Norix. Thanks, man. I'm only- I'm only gonna do, um, just a couple minutes of this game. Not- not a full, like, playthrough. I don't need to go through every level. Once we become Bowser, then we've- we've hit a peak, obviously. Well, a couple minutes, half hour, same thing. Come on, get out of the fucking boat! The eel doesn't want to come out. Can we hear your best electrical beast impression? Hello, welcome to Mario Odyssey 64. Today, we're gonna check out Cappy inside Mario. With some time gods. Oh, there we go. The eel is out. Many years ago, Electrical Beast actually streamed on Vine Sauce and finished his Mario 64 playthrough here. There is no footage of this that exists to this day. I, I don't think. He's a legend. Mamma mia. Electrical Beast, if you're watching, we still, we still love you. All of us. So, uh, I may have died attempting to become an eel. So we, we've already discounted eel. I can become a fucking useless clam, but I can't become an eel. Teleport! <laughs> See if I can coerce the eel out once, once more. We'll just get that star real quick. Do your best eel impression. Okay. All right. This eel does not want to leave yet again. I just it happens that scoot and eels sound very similar. Do you guys still have guest streamers? The way Twitch is these days, everyone's a guest streamer. It's just a matter of if any of us host you. It's it's just, you know, not really. That, that's that opportunity is kind of not not really a thing anymore. It's just a byproduct of the olden times. Sad to say. Ah, here we go. Eel is now left yet again. Oh! That's a request. It's Luigi discovering the hidden penis that he never knew he had. I'll get in there eventually. Yeah, there we go.
Now I'm wondering, this is probably the, the worst level to be trying this hat thing. I'm wondering why I even attempt- well, it was the eel. It was the eel. <laughs> Does anyone actually think this is fair? Or is this just an outdated game mechanic? that we're not going to see again in a Mario game. Touch the right chest, or die. <laughs> I mean, since Mario 64, I don't recall having played the, the chest minigame of, uh, you know, Russian Roulette. If you get air, you do recover your health, though. That is- that is true. At least there's that. Now, if I was a speedrunner, I'd be able to get up there. Even more quickly than I did just now. Alright. Famous, impressive speedruns. Dot org. Alright, great. Three more. Then Bowser. And then Corruptions. Okay, so... Um... I don't think there's anything to possess with the hat on the slide. Can you align QPUs, though? No. No. Still- oh, I'm the door. <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Alright. That was pretty fucking unexpected. Stop. Mario, you need to stop becoming the fucking door. For years, I've tried to align QPUs and go into alternate dimensions in my video games. The best I can do is corruptions. It's amazing how the controls in this game still hold up. It's one of the first 3D exploration games that really pulled it off. And still feels really good to play. Okay, place your bets. What's my next time? I'm gonna say... 2003. Or just, you know... Yeah, 20... Oh, yeah. 203. Come on, come on, you fucker. Yes! I called it. How did I do that? That'll never happen again. That'll never fucking happen again. I can't align QPUs, but I can do that, apparently. Oh, it's pre-recorded. <laughs> the stream is previously recorded live. Here, look, I'll prove it's not pre-recorded. I'm gonna jump three times. 
I meant, uh, twice. L is real. Alright, I can't do the ghost house until, um... What, after the first Bowser? Let's hoping to do that piano. It's like 12 stars for that. Oh. Maybe I can just inject stars into the game. Can you cheat the game by possessing the Bowser door? Oh, that's a really good question. Okay, the controls for the penguin are backward backwards. No, go! Go off the ledge! I think there's ledge... Uh, detection. And the penguin just automatically turns around. Bullshit. This penguin is bullshit. Come on! Oh, there we go! Okay. Something's... Yeah. S something happened. I was wondering if I could get the penguin into the slide. Well, that's not gonna happen. There we go. There we go, we're going back. We're going back! What the fuck? Uh... There are limitations to how well a penguin can control. Their brain size is not very large, so, you know, you, you have... You don't have many options. Whoops. Wait, can I possess a painting? No. <laughs> Speaking of having little brains, me jumping off to my death, and then trying to possess a painting. It's because your brains are small, Luigi. I don't know. What do you want me to tell you, Luigi? Twenty oh three. Twenty ought three. Fall damage. You know how I know this is fake Mario Odyssey? Real Mario Odyssey has no fall damage. What the fuck? So I possess Big Penguin. And Big Penguin is compelled to speak. To no one. Here we go. It's true, by the way, they took fall damage out. For Mario Odyssey. Eight. Let's go be Bowser. For the first time since Mario RPG. Which is technically true, considering... Uh... <laughs> wait a minute. Uh... Okay, so I can become the door, and then... Um... Thought I beefed it. 
Mario RPG came out around the same time as this game. Well, just a little bit before, so. This freaked me the fuck out when I was- when I was young, Bab. I remember, I would look at it, and then just slowly walk and watch the transformation take place. That's, um, Princess Bowser. It's canon. It's the perfect combination between the two. This is what their child would look like. Whenever Bowser tries to kidnap Peach, it's because he just wants to have another Bowser Jr. I like to do this sideways when I was younger, with the camera sideways. So it would feel more like old school Mario Brothers. Oh! Fuck that. Mario 64 is still so fucking cool. <laughs> the secret Goomba? I've heard of the secret Goomba. I've heard tales of the secret Goomba. Alright, well... <laughs> I am now my Bowser. Uh... So we're gonna- we're gonna start walking, Bowser? There we go. Okay, Bowser goes through an attack cycle. Then you have limited control over his movement. I'm- I'm just gonna take- <laughs> I'm gonna let Bowser take care of himself. Let's see if I actually have the ability to do that. Come on, just a little bit more. Bowser's realizing his mistakes. Bowser's had a long time to think about the evil deeds. Maybe it's time, maybe it's time we stop. M maybe Bowser should stop. Shit, doesn't work. Doesn't work. <laughs> Fuck. Can't even go off the ledge. Ah! Lame. Wait, someone had a good idea. Someone said jump off when you're in- well, no, that didn't really work, right? I was in the spike ball, but I still was unable to, uh, do the damage. What did Mario smell like after that, though? That's a good question, Jeff. Maybe you should leave. <laughs> Alright, gotta turn around and then jump, so- okay, yes. Alright, part two of the plan is go inside the spike ball, turn around, jump out. 
Haha, ha, just asking for a friend. What does Mario smell like after he's inside Bowser for a prolonged period of time? Also, that sound of Bowser breathing. Is anyone else kind of semi-uncomfortable by that? It's like a human... Yeah, what will happen here? I, I guess it just goes through it, yeah. <laughs> Good enough. Oh, I can beat dead Bowser. What? What will happen to Mario? What will happen to Mario? I don't... I guess nothing. And just for the record, I can't become a spike ball, right? I wonder what Mario's player model looks like from here. I think it's just Ma Maro. I think there's only one low poly Mario. And it's the one we saw earlier. Oh god, look. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Oh, that's a good one. Here, let me see if I can, um, make it a little bit better. Swing for you! I bet that sounds awful. What, what was the- <laughs> I don't even know what that sounded like! Was it that loud? Jesus, sorry. Someone in chat just said, Man, I love Radiohead. Another person said, That's what being born sounds like. Thank God you guys have, have the jokes tonight. But yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, any other character I could possess wouldn't be nearly as fun as Bowser. You know what's gonna happen, I'm gonna possess the piano, it's gonna do its own thing regardless of me, it's just gonna have a cap on its head. So... I mean, once Toad was just this, I knew we weren't gonna have a good time. Uh, Boo, piano, yeah, that's- that's gonna take a little while. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. Um... Give me a second. I am curious about Boo. The eel was garbage. Uh. Alright, give me a second, guys. We are gonna go and possess a Boo. Alright, so we're gonna get something here. I wanna see what it's like to possess a boo piano, and perhaps... Uh, is there anything else on that level? An eye? I guess I could be an eye for a few minutes? So for anyone just joining, this is Mario Odyssey 64 by the magnificent Kay Zemanuar, who's made a lot of great, um... Let's just call them modifications. To Mario 64, and, uh, yeah, there's not as much that you could do as I thought you could, but it's still kind of cool, especially for something that was made in a couple of hours. Anyway, uh, oh, oh boy, oh, oh boy, is this corruptions yet? We haven't even started corruptions, it's already fucking happening. Okay, so, while I'm getting some info on how to get, um, skipped ahead a little bit, so I can get those goddamn levels unlocked, we're gonna play Super Butterfly 64 for a second. And let's see where they take us. 
Uh, I have no control over these butterflies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just spinning? That's fine, I guess. What?! Butterflies destroy piranha plants, what the fuck?! <laughs> wait, 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 he's back? Okay, not this time. Not this time. Um... The owl? Power of the butterfly. You should have the owl unlocked. Let, let me see if I can get to the owl then. Oh, for fuck's sake. Amazing how I managed to do that trick. Oh, hang on a minute. Before I do owl, bullet bill. Perfect. We got. We got to get a bullet bill. Okay. Uh oh, bullet bill is non-possessible. I repeat, bullet bill is bullshit. This makes me even more excited to do a Mario 64 stream. Totally legit. So wait a minute, the owl is- is in the tree? Swamps don't get possessed, I tried one of those. No owl yet. Oh, it's a different star, okay. It's been a while. Alright, um... Let's see... Alright. You have to kill the boss for the owl to spawn. I did. Boss is dead. It's... After the third star, okay. I don't remember this game nearly as well as many of you do. I also incidentally have a player's guide for Mario 64. Hiding somewhere. Amongst my old... Fuck. <laughs> amongst my old parchments. It's- it's in there somewhere. It's in one of those fucking drawers or... in one of my shelves or something. I mean, my memory. Amongst my old fuck? Yes, Wolfenstein, the old fuck. And it's just about that... that lady who gets her teeth knocked out in the game. Wow. Wow. I can imagine people clicking on the Mario 64 tab looking for speedruns and seeing this. Oh, that, that looks cool. That looks good. Oh. Oh, this guy's terrible. Oh wait, I can be the pole. If you try hard enough, you can be anything. Except in this game, you can only be a couple things. And that does not include these th these dudes. Wow, okay, never mind. Mario learns pole dancing. That's right. In fact, during corruptions, I have corruptions for a learning game with Mario that you might find very interesting. So yeah, I'm just kind of killing time. Norix is getting some info for me.
Just want to be a boo. That way we can all be a boo. And I can say we a boo. <sighs> That's gonna be minus 100 people. After saying that. Is it owl time yet? Yep, it's owl time. Who's there? It's one of the least annoying owls in Nintendo game history, at least. <laughs> so it's really not that great. <laughs> you can't control the owl. But, but now you know what the owl looks like with a hat. And fornication takes place off screen. See if I can um, do a little something here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the hat, right? Throw the hat, be the owl, and then the hat will come back. Right. So, so now the the hat is okay, a and nothing. Someone had a good idea of throwing the hat into the mirror. And becoming Lakitu. And here I was, I was only gonna spend a couple minutes on this. Or I could be myself. Holy shit. Yeah, I definitely need to get up there. This is gonna be important. Like I said, Norix is, is kind of figuring this out for me. Let's see. Got it. Alright. You guys will just give me a second. I can make this happen. See? Something happened. Uh, okay, so now I think I think I can make this work. Hang on. Doesn't look like it works. It works. Uh... Alright. One second, guys. So I have to play more. Norix is gonna get me a save state. I'm using, um... Bizhawk, which is not the most friendly for this kind of stuff. I am bomb. Actually, hang on. Let me let me try one more thing. Let me try one more thing. I thought there was only a couple cool things to do, but there's a couple more things I need to do. So there's Boo, there's th the piano, there's the mirror, and there's Yoshi. But I have a feeling Yoshi will not be doing anything. Yoshi's just gonna stand there. Koopa the Quick, you can't control. Koopa the Quick just goes. He go.
Three more stars for booze. Okay. Wait, is there? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I can do the penguin race! <laughs> wait a minute, who wins? If I'm the penguin, who wins? I guess we're gonna find out. Confirm, this is where penguins wear hats. On day asshole. Twenty oh three confirmed. What, what's happening? You broke my record. Unbelievable. <laughs> I won. Great. Great. I set a world record. New strat discovered. Uh, I, why do I have 20 stars now? Do <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute, okay. Uh, I- what? Oh, alright, fine. 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 Mamma mia. Just 20 stars. If you break the world record by becoming the penguin, he gives you like, 10 stars. <clears throat> At least. Okay, that one. Can't possess. But we can do this for now. And then, uh, Norix is gonna have something for me where I can... What the fuck? Okay, you can't possess booze. Mamma mia! But yeah, then we can get to the mirror. And try to possess myself. You cannot possess that which is already dead. Confirm that you cannot control Yoshi. Alright, Yoshi is uncontrollable. It's one of these, right? Is this the only Mario game that you kill booze by ground pounding? And otherwise just, you know, hitting? Because, I don't think that's been in another Mario game. Uh, I'm pretty sure boos have always been kind of impervious to Mario's bullshit. Where's the fucking level? Fucking animals. Sunshine. Oh. Look at the star totals. I can't right now, but I will. Oh yeah, Mario Sunshine, you could like... ...hit the booze with Yoshi, right? Also, another rare appearance from Maro. Look at that face. Look at that face. 
That's like one of those bootlegs you buy. For, like someone made, and they're selling them as like official merchandise. Like a fucked up Pikachu on a boardwalk after like you play a carny game. What? <laughs> what? I'm the chair. I'm not even the piano, I'm the fucking chair. Okay, now I'm the piano. And, oddly enough, I do have some control over it. Some. Not nearly as interesting as I thought it would be. And now I'm a door. Okay. C can we- can we not be a door for a minute, please? Thanks. Yeah, you- you cannot possess booze at all. That's just- that's just silly. Why would you be able to possess a boo? Oh, there he is again. I can't believe how many marrow appearances there are in this game, and I never noticed it at all. I guess the resolution was just garbage when I was playing this on my TV. In 1996. But even in my subsequent playthroughs, still never noticed it. Anyway, in just a second, I'm going to be able to go to the mirror room. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure why I got 20 stars. Really fucking weird. Really, really weird. Nope. Can't possess eyeball. I'm ready for some Pee Wee Herman music. That's my half-assed attempt at Pee-wee. Alright, there's nothing to do down here yet. Where's my bike, Dottie? Possess Nessie. I'm thinking that the idea of possessing a lot of these things is a lot less cool than it seems. The only thing I'm curious about is the mirror now. That's it. Someone in chat just said, possess a good streamer. Oh! <laughs> That's a good one. I know you are, but what am I? That's another half-assed attempt at Pee Wee. Now, I don't know if you know this, but through use of the scuttlebug, you can jump dimensions. So many dimensions that you can actually go through a warp 10 and become a lizard um, and mate with Captain Janeway, have little lizard babies, and then, you know, have that reversed in five minutes off screen through a voiceover. Norix is still working on it for all the keys. I need- I need keys. I don't need stars now, I need keys. I'll give this another, like, five minutes. Cause I got- I got ruptions to get through. Um... Wondering. Do I just, like, not give a shit? I, 
I guess I could go for the booze. I don't really need stars now. You know, considering I have 20 of them. Oh, okay, he's not gonna be able to get it. I wonder if there's a... a huh. I wonder if there's a Game Genie thing that allows you to get all the keys. Sound of typing. Enjoy the nice music. In the meantime, all right. I think I have something for keys. Let's see. Whoa. Need to contain a space after the eighth character. Is that not a space? Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. You're gonna hear Mario talk about ravioli in a second. Alright, let me exit the level and see if I have the keys now. Oh, wait, no, there is no exiting. There is no exiting! We're trapped here forever! Fuck. Some of the codes aren't working the way they should be, so... Uh, definitely sucks. I, I apologize for the inconvenience and time lost. We could have been... We could have been Mario in a mirror by now. I mean, what's the most that could happen? I'm gonna throw the hat in the mirror, it's gonna bounce off. Everyone's gonna be disappointed, and we wasted 20 minutes of our lives. Anyway, let me exit the level. Okay, well, I think we got something. I think we got something. Mamma mia! I mean, if this was corruptions, I could probably just warp through the door. That's not happening until later. And I don't even think Mario 64 is included in there. Key doesn't fit. Oh, okay. Eat a dick. Alright, let's try again. No. Still no. Okay, how about now? No! That one works for the moat. Okay, I got one for the moat. <laughs> it's not helping me here, though. Open basement first. Oh, okay. Alright, thanks. I think chat just saved the day. So you actually- I did not know there was an order to the keys. Got it. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna try to use my hat to cheat my way through the door. Oh fuck, not like that! Mips. Yeah, I have to definitely check that out. Nope. Still nothing. Come on, come on, I'm in the door, let me just go through the door. Doesn't work, you just get stuck. Fuck. Let me try the thing again. It's 
still nothing. Alright, great. Fucking great. Ah, uh, you may have to load back in. Oh, I have to load back in. Let's try that. Alright. Let's see if this works. Oh, there's no one there! Oh, it's a who? It's nobody! Nobody's fucking there! It's me, Mario! What the fuck? Hello! <laughs> nobody is there! Oh, okay. We, we got a game crash. That might actually signify the end of Mario 64 Odyssey. It's okay. Me, Mario. Here we go. Hello. Okie dokie. Twenty. All right. Twenty. You still have. Okay. You still have video. Good. 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 And let's see if I have the key. Nope. Key's still for the basement. Alright, fuck it. I didn't save, yeah, that's that's true. But even so, I don't think this is... I don't think this code is working. Uh, Toad... People want to see MIPS. I can do that, at least. Or I can try to get MIPS. Ready? So wait a minute, did I catch the rabbit? Or, or, or what? The rabbit is going mental. Well, you know what? Fuck you too, rabbit. Here, let me try one more thing. I would welcome any of you to give the code a shot or to, uh, you know, play this and see what happens. How about this? If anyone actually has this and goes to the mirror and something cool happens, just let me know. <laughs> Why does a shy guy spontaneously combust when I possess it? That's not possessable. Um, let me... Let me become the bird. The, the vulture. Borp. Borp. It's not worth it, it just bounces off the mirror. Okay, we got confirmation that it's... It's not worth... It's not worth the effort. That solves that. <laughs> Fuck, no, 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 I don't want that. I want y'all need you. Where'd it go? Ah, oh, fuck. What's the fastest I've ever gotten that star? See, if I wanted to become Lakitu, I would just do this. But that doesn't work. Alright, well, it was fun. I like this. There's not really a lot you can do. You can possess the Lakitu like at the beginning of the game on the bridge. Really. I will make an attempt. Hello! But that also means we have to go through this. So, let me see if I can... Yeah, that'll work. Yep. Perfect. It might be a jape, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm wondering... if I'm gonna be able to even fucking do this. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it worked! Yes! Man! 
Elemental! Good afternoon, Lakitu Brothers here. So now what? Do we get to fly away with Lakitu? <laughs> Holy shit, that's so cool. Well, now what? Yeah, we're going to a different PU. I, I have some level of control over the Lakitu, but I, I do not know where I am, so... It doesn't really even matter, does it? This is the good ending. You know, you get a couple stars, you defeat Bowser, you become one with Lakitu, and you ascend into the Sky Village with him, and, and you just, you get married and have kids. That's it. And Mario gives him, like, hyper-realistic mustache rides. Great. Oh, there it is. But who is recording Lakitu? Good point, Desert. I never thought about it like that. Oh, and this is the bad ending. Alright, that was Super Mario Odyssey 64. That was kind of cool. Oh boy. I like that. Again, I wish it was a little bit more um, fleshed out, but for just a quick hack, it's great. It makes me want Mario Odyssey even more. Um, also, I should let you guys know, I just got a note from Onage. The hoodies I ex expected to ship last week, uh, they'll actually be coming this week. It took longer than expected for them to pack them all. Um, there won't be any doubt that they'll have them before the charity stream. So, hoodies are on the way. If you ordered a hoodie, they have finally shipped. There was just so many of them, they had trouble shipping and creating them all, so... Apologies for the delay, but at least you'll have one for the fall, right? I mean, whatever. Be right back with Corruptions and then Terrible DOS Games. Stick around. <laughs>